How to install slash upgrade to Windows 8.1 RTM without a Microsoft account. When I installed Windows 8, I deliberately chose not to use a Microsoft account to sign in. I like to keep things separate and just log on with a traditional local account. Any apps that require me to sign in with my live account will have to prompt me to sign in. Now, I just updated to 8.1, but towards the end of the setup process, I was asked to sign in with a Microsoft account or create one. Unlike when installing Windows 8, there didn't seem to be any option to skip that step or otherwise close the sign-in prompt and continue to my updated Windows installation. At least not that I could find. This is particularly annoying when setting up computers for friends and family whom I support. They may not have or have any interest in getting a Microsoft account and I'm reluctant to use my own. I realize I can disconnect my Microsoft account after the fact, but is there really no way to install or upgrade to Windows 8.1 without being forced to create a Microsoft account? If there is, how does one go about that? Method 1. Disconnect your internet connection before installing Windows 8.1 or after the first part of installation has finished. Windows detects at some point if there is an active internet connection, if it isn't available, it will skip the screen where Windows wants you to connect this PC to your Microsoft account and offer you to create a local account instead. This is the simplest method of skipping this screen. Method 2 You can keep your internet connection enabled. When a screen called connect this PC to your Microsoft account appears it will ask you for email address and password for Outlook.com or similar Microsoft service. If you have one you may put it in or if you don't have it, or use Gmail instead, you have an option to create one. I suppose you want neither otherwise you wouldn't be reading this right? If you don't want to create Microsoft account enter some invalid email here for example. Email address, localhost at localhost.localhost. Password, whatever you like, doesn't matter, I entered 12345678. Windows will now check this account and conclude that there was a problem with logging into this account, as it obviously doesn't exist. On the side a text will appear, the email address or password is incorrect. If you don't remember your password, create a local account now and set up your Microsoft account later. Source, this URL. Method 3. Click on create new account select sign in without Microsoft account. At the dialog to enter your online account data, click on the button to create a new account. Here you have a new button to use a local account. It may say sign in with your existing account, instead of the sign in without a Microsoft account message, a link shown below. According to tweakguides.com you can use a local account. During the update. When prompted, click on create a new account dot. At the bottom of the next screen, with all the new account info, click on sign in without a Microsoft account. It will use your existing local account. You don't need to disconnect the internet, set up a fake email or remove the account later. The author berates Microsoft for deliberately hiding the option as an obvious attempt to trick users into using a Microsoft account. This URL. If you want to support this channel, please click the like button and subscribe.